Hey, 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 and welcome to my Let's Play. It's your girl, Gonda Sims, and I'm coming at you guys with episode 10 of The Price of Fame. And today we're going to be having our housewarming slash Christmas Eve party. I'm so excited because we haven't had a party since, like, episode 2. And we all know that party was lit, but it was very, very cramped. And now that we're in this new space, in this bigger place, we can have so much fun and we can really, really entertain like we've been wanting to. So the girls have gotten everything together as far as, you know, everything with the apartment and stuff like that. We just need to decorate. Um, we're going to finish off the tree. We're going to do the decorations around the house. And then we're going to get the butler to go ahead and start cooking everything and getting stuff set up for tonight. Um, I believe the party is at four. So that's what we're going to do um, for now until we're ready to start. Yeah, the party is at 4. So let me move this timer down to the bottom. And we're going to let Penny go ahead and finish that tree. Um, Aspen did the cranberries and popcorn garland. So that was really cute of her. But we need um, Homeboy to fix us a little breakfast. So for breakfast, we want, um, let's say, go ahead and cook for me. Takashi, please. And we'll let him do that. Yes, we need you to cook, honey. We need you to cook. Did we tell you to cook? You're not listening. So let's go ahead and um, ask him to cook again. Because I don't think he really heard us. Okay. And we want some French toast for breakfast. That's what we want. Can you find some French toast, please? Thank you. So we'll thank him for that later. Now we just need to uh, do our topper. And we're going to do the blue and white modern. And then we're going to start uh, placing our presents around the tree as well. And ask him what you're doing. She's getting there, y'all. She want to be fully rested. She said, look, I'm not getting up until about 11, 30, 12 o'clock. So we're going to have to get it done. Because, you know, with her date and everything, she was out late. And she's just trying to catch up on some rest. She's been really working lately. Um, as always, our girls are always working. But she did take time out for her personal life last episode and went on a date with Maxwell. So this tree is really gorgeous. Um, we're going to spend the rest of this time decorating, cooking, and just getting everything together for the party. Uh, we sent out invites, so I'm not going to tell you who's invited. We're just going to see who shows up, and I'll introduce you to everybody that y'all don't know. Or just, if you're watching for the first time, the people that you don't know at all. <laughs> so I'll introduce you to everybody. But, um, yeah, we got a lot of people coming, a lot of people coming. So I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and place these presents down. And we're just going to go ahead and add a few presents. Okay. Let's add about four presents, or five, and now we're going to come and eat our breakfast that he's already cooked. So we already need to get him to uh, bake, so let's go ahead and get him to bake for us. Uh, yes, I need you to bake. I know you just finished with the French toast, but I need you to bake. Okay? Thank you. And we need you to start on the sugar cookies for tonight. I feel like that's good. And look at Aspen getting up and doing a little yoga. She said, look, you can go ahead and get ready for this party, but I'm chilling for right now. I think that Cotton then woke her up. Let me see. Cotton, did you weigh her up? Yep. Sure did. We need to go lecture her. No, cut the yoga out. We're not doing that. We need to get ready for the party. And you need to tell Cotton to go ahead and act accordingly because tonight we don't need no mess. Okay, don't start. Don't be waking me up. So we're going to use the bathroom. We're going to take a shower. And then we're going to um, brush our teeth. And she's also going to um, try to calm down a little bit. Get yourself together. Okay, so. Oh, okay, I'm about to say he better get started on those cookies. We ain't talking. No, stop the chit-chat. Stop the chit chat. We don't have time for that. So, look, he's about to knock the shit in the floor. So let's go ahead and um, 
update our social media status like happy christmas eve y'all i'm throwing a big party tonight wish us luck and penny you're gonna go ahead and use the bathroom um oh i'm pressing the mirror you're gonna use the bathroom and go ahead and get you to take a little um milk and honey bath so aspen's almost done and we're gonna get um the butler to go ahead and walk the dog because none of us will be able to do it. So um, we need you to take Cotton for a, a little mid-range walk, please. Thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, get out the mirror, girl. Get out the mirror. That should be enough. You should be calm. So they getting ready to go outside. You see we got Cotton a little sweater for her to walk in. She's so cute. We should have dressed her up for tonight, but that's okay. So let's see who's contacting us. So this is Ted. Ted says, sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to charity? Sure, we'll donate a thousand dollars. Why not? Why not? So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna admire our fine self. And then Penny is finishing up her bath. She would like to record a new video, which we probably will do tonight. Just record a uh, you know, the, a little bit of the Christmas party. We might stream tonight or something. Because I think that she needs to stream Let's Plays for four hours. So we'll do that at some point. And then she needs to get playful as well. So let's go ahead and pause. And we're going to start decorating for the party because that's imperative. And I'm going to go ahead to holiday decor. So I already kind of know the things that I want to use. Because as usual, I have tried to record this episode like all day long. And everybody's so god dang loud. I mean, oh my god. It started off with... um. You done them mowing the grass for like three, four hours. And then somebody's moving in a couple doors down. So that U-Haul or whatever, that sound is backing on up. Like it's just been a lot of noise today. And then my dog's been on one. So <sighs> it's been a little frustrating today. But we want to go ahead and put a table in here. Because that's probably where we're going to put some, you know, some little um, snacks and stuff. And I think that we should use the white and gold in here. We're going to kind of minimize this, make it a little smaller. But I really would like another one in here. What's this? A log display? That's kind of cute. It's kind of festive. I like this one kind of match with the door, but I don't know, it's not fancy enough. So we're going to do the pine fresh candles, and we're going to just put that there. But can we make this smaller? Do I have to be that big? Yeah, let's just do that, okay? And then we're going to put a wreath on the door. I kind of want the colors to be blue, so we're just going to have to um, kind of make this big enough for a double door, and put it like right there. Yeah, that's cute. And then we're going to put some um, snowflakes around, just kind of get the party started. Yeah. That's what we'll do, get a little snowflakes around. Let's put some in the kitchen, because this will be a big party area, I'm sure. Um, let's put something over this door. Don't they have little hanging snowflakes or something? Let me see. Mm. Yes, that's so cute. And just put this over the archway. Oh, do they have a cuter one? Let me see. Oh, this one's cute. Let's do... No. Let's see, stars. Um, I guess. And this one's probably too big, yeah. So let's just do the snowflakes, actually. Let's do the snowflakes. We'll put those above the door. Um, we'll do the larger garland thing. Yeah, the garland thing. I want something nice and... Ooh, that is classy, honey. That is upscale. Yes. I like that. That's really cute. Um, let's see if they have um, any other blue color, because I know they do. That's pretty. Um, I think we should do the white and blue. That's pretty. And then I feel like we need... Let's see. We need something to dress this... Uh, area up to. Let me see, because they had like a little wreath thing you can put down. This is a holly. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Let's do that. Make it kind of big so that, yeah. That's nice. Nice and festive. And then, um, actually, I'm going to take these candles down, because we got enough light in here. I'm going to go ahead and put this um, snowflake replica in the middle of this, because that sounds like... Come on now. Sounds like a good idea. Just have something just like that. Real Christmassy, real festive. It can't be... Yeah, so it's like an ice sculpture thing. And let's see, what else can we put down? Um, our snowflakes. We need to keep adding them around. So, we're gonna put these right by the bar. Any empty space in this area, we're just gonna try to uh, put some snowflakes. This, oh, we need to put another tree. I really like this tree. But we need to um, turn it this way just so that everything is nice and evened out. And then, um, hmm... Let's see, what else can we do? What else can we do? I feel like we need to hang something above this area too, making it a little bit more inviting. Um, let's see, we got blue. That's pretty. But that's not Christmassy. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. That's nice. And then do we need something above this door? No, I feel like anything would be too big. We get a little nutcracker. Do they have him blue yet? I'll put him there. And then we're gonna have our Christmas tree lit. And then let's uh last but not least, let's just get like a little buffet. Um 
tight thing going on for a little recreation. Is that under the, is that the category beyond there? No. Uh, creative? No. Outdoor activities? What's going on? I mean, let's see. Is it under appliances? I'm trying to find um a little. I want this, but I want the table as well. It's like a little um stand for them to eat on. Um, let's do surfaces. I don't think that's it either. Dang it! What, what is this considered? Hmm. I don't know, man. It's not storage. Surfaces. We already did that, right? Dining tables. I mean, I thought it would all be kind of like in the same area. Um, yeah, I might have to speed this part up because I really can't find it. Um, am I just missing it? Am I scrolling too fast? Okay. Outdoor activities. Yes. No? I really don't know what um category it would be under. But it's a buffet table type thing. Under creative? Okay, whatever. Whatever you say. But I think that we should do a little table. Should we do a table like this? Or should we do something like... Um, let's do the buffet table. Let's do what we originally planned. Then we're going to put our little um, fountain on it. But I feel like... I don't know. Let's keep it light. Let's keep it light and airy. It's cute. Yeah, let's do that. Let's turn it back to the light one. So we got that going on. And I think that's really all we need because we have a bar and everything like that. So that's the, as much decoration as we're going to be doing right now. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and lock these doors. Oh, good. It's locked because I was about to say, I don't want people to be all over the house. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and put these cookies. Um, this is normal. Oh, no, we don't serve nothing normal in this house. Somebody else will be baking today. So um, Penny's going to come in here and bake. Oh, Lord, she level one her damn self. Um, maybe not her. <laughs> maybe not her. So let's come and light this tree in here. Let's start with that. Go ahead and just turn on the tree. And then you're going to come and light this tree. And then Aspen, what are you doing? You don't need to be in the mirror no more. You need to come and bake. Come and get some things popping. You at least level two. So we're going to make her make some cream tarts. That sounds good. And they'll start getting ready for the party soon. But I think the decorations are really cute. Really um simple. And yeah, something that we can use all the time. Um, we're going to kind of like turn the brightness of these down just a little bit. Keep it nice and cute, you know. And then we need also, uh, Penny needs to come and fill these up. Just so our dogs have, well, our dog and our cat has something to eat tonight. Because we can't forget about them. And the party is going to start shortly. Oh my God, oh my God. So, Penny, go ahead and empty this out. You can empty this out for the butler. He was nice enough to take cotton out, so go ahead and do it. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to wash your hands. And you're going to come get ready for the party. So we're going to be changing her into her party wear. And then after Aspen finishes up the cream tarts, she's going to do her thing. I think she needs to update her social media status one more time to get to the top of that. And our party will be starting shortly. Okay, so we got our cream tarts going on. And are they excellent? Great. So we're going to put those right there. And Aspen, can, is the cook back? Is he back? Um, cook gourmet. Shit. Nope. It's not. I need him to cook. I need him to be cooking. Um, we can go ahead and take a fish dinner out, I guess, but I want him to cook, like, fresh food. So we need to add a couple presents. She's going to add about four presents under here. Then she's going to come and change into her party outfit. 
and admire herself in the mirror at that point, okay? Then she can't even do it. She can't do it when she wants it. Because she's so busy trying to be... All right, and our Christmas party. And this is Penny's outfit for the party. She wants to be a little dressed up tonight. Look a little cute. So we're going to let her take a selfie. She's just ready. Where is it? Let's take a selfie. Yes, girl. And let's turn you out towards, like, you know, the Christmas decorations. It's a little dark. Mm, no. We ain't going to take no pictures yet. We ain't going to take no pictures yet, girl. Let's go ahead and... um. I believe that she can cook pretty well. Um, so we're going to cook a grand meal. And we're just going to cook a ham dinner. Because I feel like that's Christmassy. Cook us a nice little ham dinner. We really wouldn't be cooking, you know. But our butler is walking the dog. So we're trying to meet him halfway. You know, he can't do it all. Hopefully he'll be back soon. Um, And let's see. Grayson, what are you doing? All right behaving yourself okay come in here and try to calm down get yourself together and this is aspen's outfit it's pretty festive cute she got her balenciaga boots on she feels cute so that's what she's rocking to the party tonight they both want to be dressed a little similar but not too similar okay and she's just gonna come um light this tree and admire the lights afterwards after she calms down a little bit and no we don't want to be disturbed Diego because you're not invited to the party so get out the mirror Aspen because the party's starting in about 15 seconds slash minutes and we putting our ham dinner in the oven getting it all finished so we get some good timing going on and after she's finished that she's gonna um, go ahead and um, serve some yep let's go ahead and get it started and we're going to serve some drinks so we're going to serve some liqueur and I think a good drink for tonight let's do let's do some wines yes let's do a wine and let's do um Let's do the River Blossom um, Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, everybody coming in cute. So this is Thorn, Thorn Bailey. He's a proper celebrity. He's here. So we're going to go ahead and say thanks for coming. Because we didn't even think he would come. We sent out the invitation. But um, we'll enthuse him about our new brand. And why the hell does she have this on? Why do you have this on? You need your party. I don't understand. And Penny, what did I tell you? Let me pause this real quick. Let me get everybody in their gear because I don't know why they decided to change their clothes. But you're going to change your outfit back to your Christmas gear. Okay, everybody's starting to come in. Yes, Maxwell showing up. We'll have a good time. Okay, and then we're going to have Aspen turn on some music. And we're going to turn on some um, winter holiday music. You're going to have to cut it out on this piano. But we'll go ahead and get us a, a drink. <laughs> Start this party, all right. Why are we lagging? What is going on? What's really going on? Let's pause. Oh, uh, Brittany. Brittany, what are you doing here? Brittany Cho is here. Cash is here looking stank. And it's because this stank holding walked in. Kayla. Oh, this party should go just fine tonight. We're going to get us something to drink. Let's talk to Brittany because we don't really understand why she's here, but we're going to give her um, a friendly introduction because that's who Aspen is. She would never be rude about it. And I know that ain't Drake. Hold on. 
Shorty, Drake at the party. Y'all didn't really won. Let me let me come up in here. Yes, Drake is at the party. Everybody like, oh my god, it's Drake. Yes. You need to thank him for coming, honey. Cause he ain't had to. Let's see. Let's just share some Christmas spirit with him. Yes, Maxwell Pierre taking pictures with everybody. We need to say hi to him too. Let's go ahead and um give him a nice little hug. Cause we glad we here. He here. He like hi Trey. Thanks for coming. I didn't think that you would really come, even though I invited you. So everybody's feeling good. Okay, so why doesn't everybody have their party wear on? That's that's what's really bothering me right now. Cause I need everybody to have their party wear on. Y'all got some nice clothes, I'm sure. Let's get the party started in the party wear. Everybody that's in here acting like, you know, it's cold in here, it's not. It's really not. Um, Nina, go ahead and take that off. Because you about to have your party wear it one too. Cold weather. It ain't cold outside. And k -Sin, you that's how you come to my party. Let's see what he look like. Right, he ain't got nothing to wear. Okay, so that's decent, I guess. Everybody else look pretty decent. Max... I need you to do something else with your slides. Look, we didn't tell him about his uh, style of dress. Where's your party wear, honey? Put it on. Okay. And then, um, who else look cute? Aya? I guess you look cute, but I want you to have your party wear once in. You look cute, but this is a party. I need you to wear your party wear. Okay, so now that everybody has their party where Penny is going to be finishing up this meal. Who is Father, um, oh, I'm about to say, Father Winter, you done lost your little weight. I think so. So we got our ham dinner going. I'm tired of this, uh, lagging though. We're going to put that out for them. Um, let's see. So we need him to fix at least one more meal. I just feel like we should have some other um gourmet meal and we're gonna have takashi fix that while we get the party started <gasps> rasul our first butler we need to talk to him we need to talk to him about why he quit in the first place but go ahead and fix some um rack of lamb and uh, we ain't listening to no fans right now we need to come talk to him so let's go ahead and add him to the group and we're going to come sit here, sit together and talk to him. Because we're trying to figure out why the hell he even quit. And what's she doing? She up here chit-chatting with who? Oh, oh she chit-chatting with Maxwell. That's good. It's a lot of glitching going on right now. Okay. So Aya and Cash meeting up. Let's see what these two need to talk about. So basically, Penny has a little problem with him quitting. And she's like, what happened? What are you doing now that you can't work for us? Because I'm not understanding. You just up and left. We got your resignation. I mean, what's going on? You, you found somebody? You you're doing something new? I mean, I'm a little confused. So he was like, you know, I got this job as a regional man manager for this company. And I just, you know, I wanted to change. I've been butlering for a minute now. We can say, well, you know, you look oh, real good outside your butler clothes, I guess. I'm thanking you for coming. I'm glad that you were, you know, able to stop by and get out. And so, um, we are going to just let him know he looks cute. Because, oh, he just looks cute. And that's why Penny was really mad. Because she liked him. She thought she he was cute. And him being in such close quarters, honey. We might have been able to get something started. Um, but let's go ahead and um, flirt with him a little bit. See if he's receptive to it. Okay. She's like, well, I'm glad that you're over here. You look really cute tonight. And I hope that you have fun. So we're going to go ahead and get Penny a drink. Get her started. And ask him what you in here doing. She just finished her drink.
So um, we've invited some people over. We need to get in a festive spirit. Let's go ahead and admire the lights. Um, Cause we're trying to get some of these uh, things together. And I know people is not leaving plates on my floor. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's talk to Kayla. Let's give her a hug. Thank her for coming. And as usual, uh, Kayla is angry. She probably need to go ahead and get a drink. And uh, look, <laughs> Penny, like, hold on, is that Drake? Drake, we need to talk. We need to ask him for a hug. See what's up. Like, can we get a hug, Drake? And thank him for coming to the party. Because he didn't have to show up. Oh, shit. We about to give her damn ass a hug. We want no hug from you, girl. And Maxwell, you better come and eat this food. Who leaving food out on the table? Oh, he ate his food. I know that's right, boy. So we're going to come and just hang out with him a little bit. Just be a little romantic. Let's go ahead and embrace him. Because we had a little drink. Uh-uh, who you being me? Have a drink thrown by Kay What is going on? Oh, no. Hold on. We about to handle Kayla. Because she just threw a, f a freaking drink in our face. Let's, um, bitch, you must have lost your mind. Tell her. Tell her right now. Aspen don't usually get ugly, but she gonna have to get ugly tonight. Kayla, I don't know what your problem is. Maybe you need to go get you a drink, but you got the game effed up, okay? If you think that you want to do this type of crap at my party. And yell at her, girl. What? No, she did not. No, she did not. She about to get her ass up out of here. She about to get her ass up out of here. Insult her. Like, bitch, how you come in somebody's house and you sit up here and you gonna talk that shit to me? We invited you in our space. You didn't have to come tonight. And then we gonna tell her, get her ass up out of here. Oh, hell no. She gotta go. She gotta go. Let me pause this real quick, because we about to get in her ass. Uh-uh. She got to go. Yeah, goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Because I don't know what the hell you want tonight. We'll talk to you another time. And look, we got Father Winter in here. And Penny up here laughing and joking with Drake. Yes. I know that's right, girl. Let me take some pictures. Yes, giving Drake a hearty laugh. I know that's right. He's so damn fine. Look, who, what y'all talking about? And then, let's see what else is going on. Brittany, uh-uh, you about to get your ass out too. We ain't having no sleeping on the couch. Let me call her over and tell her to get up. And look at the butler doing what he need to do. Need to clean up. Okay, so let's get back in Drake face. And let's just compliment his appearance. Just tell him that, oh, you look cute, Drake. Girl, you don't need to throw nothing away. What are you throwing away? No, we don't need to be in Drake face. Not you. Aspen, I mean. Didn't we tell Brittany to get out? Because if she's going to be tired, she can go home. Just go. Brittany Cho can go. And we're going to get ourselves something to eat. So we're going to come and get ourselves a little ham dinner. Everybody is enjoying their self. Kaysen looks cute. Penny, come and talk to Octavia. And thank her for coming. I don't understand why I got to be all the way at the end. But we're going to thank her for coming. And then look at Siobhan. Oh my gosh, she getting so big. We need to come talk to her too. And we need to come um, ask the baby's due date. Like, girl, since when? And we need to um, hug her. This music like a little loud now. Let's um, turn this down. It's a little too much going on. And then um, we're just going to um, ask to feel her baby. And we're going to go to the next song because I don't like that.
and let's turn it on low because it's just a little loud tonight. I don't know. Aspen, what are you doing? Eating your fish dinner? What are you talking to Dawn about? Y'all don't need to talk about nothing. Come sit down. And where's everybody else? Let's see what's going on. So Maxwell is out the front. People taking showers and baths and dirtying up our stuff. So you can't ask nobody to come up in here. You can't invite nobody in your house. So they having a little hearty laugh. So we're going to come and open some of these gifts. We can open one gift. So we're going to come open some gifts. And we're going to come open them with Aspen. Um, let's just say, yeah, them two. They're going to come open the gifts together. Because it's their house. And they're like, look, Christmas is tomorrow. I just want to open a gift. And it looks like everybody is pretty much having a good time. We're entertaining pretty well. We have how long? Another hour and 19 minutes to go at this party. I think it's going pretty well. It's a little all over the place. I'm mad that we had to uh, throw Kayla up out of here. She had a nasty ass attitude tonight. Definitely did. So she got the Ornit Beauty. She will treasure it. I know that's right, girl. Treasure it. And then go ahead and uh, light this tree. Um, and in my other life, because I need her to um, finish. So she got TV. Go, Penny. But we're going to come in here. We're going to use this bed. Well, I guess we're not going to use this bathroom. Somebody in there taking a bath. Good thing our um, door is locked because we're not having it. You ain't taking a bath in the, um, my bath. They got some rack of lamb going on. This is normal, so we'll probably wind up throwing that out. Put everything on the table over there. And then Aspen, come and talk to Erin because we haven't seen her since she had the baby. Let's go enjoy her company. And let's see. Paolo. Get engaged to Paolo. Girl, you have lost your mind tonight. You you must have. You must have. And where are you going? Okay, what we doing? What we doing? Oh, she, she like, girl, you ain't gonna come say hi to me? So let's um, ask what happened. My girl, when did you get pregnant? She like, well, you know, I fell in love and, you know, everything just kind of happened quickly. So I'm engaged and I'm pregnant. Oh, my girl, I know that's right. So we're going to ask to feel her baby and we're going to ask about who she's dating. And she's actually dating um this guy, Andre Ruiz. And he's really, really cute. But he is on some other stuff and look at the ice cream truck want to be outside one just want to be seen i guess um drake come here let's call him over and what y'all doing in this corner what's going on you're not using the bathroom so drake like what's up the ass we wanted to kind of catch up with him after she talked to siobhan and then she's gonna, you know, ask Drake about what he's doing. We're gonna compliment his style. And look, no, the party is over. Don't do this. Don't go. Well, damn. I guess the party is over, guys. We had fun while it was. Damn. Nina done pissed on herself. Let's go get a um a gift. Fight for the winter for presents. Let's let's not fight them. Can we just ask him? Hmm, guess not. Guess not. Where's the butler? Because we need him to start cleaning this mess up. Takashi! This big ass apartment, I don't know where the hell he at. His ass is asleep. He said, girl, I ain't cleaning nothing else tonight. Just gonna have to wait till the morning. So we're gonna come in here and use the bathroom. Christmas Eve is almost over. We pretty much did everything that we needed to do besides the Father Winter thing. So we should have an okay Christmas. And look, Penny Aston got in the bed too. I guess I'm the one that's late to the party. Everybody going to bed. Okay, well, let's turn the music off at least. But the party was quick. Um, a little drama filled. We People didn't drink some drinks, but we're going to go ahead and put them away. Because we do save drinks around here. Let's see, we ain't gonna let that go to waste. 
okay and we're gonna put this ham dinner up we're gonna put this cream tart in here and let me see this rack of lamb we don't eat no regular food so that's about to go in the trash um we can go ahead and put these wine glasses in here too just because you know we ain't getting rid of no wine but everything else will be cleaned in the morning i can't believe kayla's ass so we you know now kayla got this drama like i'm telling you if y'all go on my tumblr ganjasins.tumblr.com y'all will already see that kayla really been on one and you know aspen is a good person so she didn't really let it you know affect their friendship too much but she was like kayla you got to go she had to put her out tonight but i don't know what is going on with um with aspen either why she's thinking about Paolo. Now she wants to get engaged to him. I'm going to just pin that just so that can be like, she's really been thinking about this, I guess. And, yeah, I, I'm surprised because she likes Maxwell. But I guess she don't like him more than Paolo. So we're going to let our girls sleep. And Christmas Eve was awesome. Aspen had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do. Okay. We sure did. Got a couple gifts. All right. So let's go and wake up, girl. And we're going to put some more gifts under this tree because that was just, you know, the preview. But we're going to put a little, a few more gifts under this tree for Aspen. We was like, girl, that was just the preview. But it was a fun party. Quick, but fun. <laughs> But I'm just real. I, I can't even stop saying, like, I'm really surprised in Kayla the way she acted tonight. And to throw a drink on Aspen? <sighs> I don't even know if we can be her friend no more. We ain't inviting her to no functions. We're going to have to have a mediation session with her again. And um, we're going to go ahead and get us something to eat. Um, let's cook us some breakfast. And I think that she could go for an omelet this morning. Just something, something simple. Let's just go ahead and get an omelet. So who is this? <gasps> hey, Aspen, do you want to go out on a date? It's 3.52 in the morning. Should we even do that? No. We can't even face him right now because the fact that she's thinking about even getting engaged to him is surprising to me. I thought we was over him. I mean, he said he didn't want commitment, so I don't know where she's getting engagement like and that's why i feel like i just can't move forward with aspen too for too too much because she is stuck on paolo like he must got that yeah he must got that because i mean she just is hooked on phonics for it honey she don't get enough and look how she whipping it up whipping up that omelet girl in this five-star kitchen Yeah, go ahead and make us some breakfast. And we saw Rasul. I mean, we kind of happy. We kind of happy that we got to see him because, you know, now he's in the business field. He's a regional manager. He's our friend. We might have to, you know, get into it, honey. We might have to get into it. I think Penny was really um, shocked. And, you know, she was just shocked that, you know, he just put in his resignation and dipped. Next thing they know, they had an old man. But, you know, Takashi's very nice. He gets things done for us. We need to actually praise him the next time um, or when he gets up and thank him for everything that he's done because he's really done a good job. We're going to um, wash some of these dishes. Just the ones that we could. Aspen, you getting some good rest? And look how she got all these hairballs all over the place. I hope he come clean up in here. I had to wake him up, get him started early. But today is Christmas, y'all. It's Christmas. And they're going to just open a few more gifts together. And I'm not sure what they're going to do today. Um, Penny is probably going to stream for a bit because that's what she needs to do. Just going to get back to work. But we got a lot of stuff to think about. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode here with this little funny face from Penny. Because we're at about 42 minutes and it's been a little bit now. But I hope y'all enjoyed this party. Some things that we need to think about. We got 
A few things to think about for this next episode, y'all. We see Kayla acted her ass at the party, so we need to address her because that was just totally uncalled for. She really has a problem, and we really need to get her some help. And then number two, you can see we know Drake. Drake was failing both the girls, you know, so we might start hanging with Drake, y'all. And then number three, should Penny start dating Rasul? Because... He's just, I don't know, he's really, really cute, and we didn't want to let him go, so he may not be our butler, but he can sure be our man, let me know, y'all, let me know, we haven't seen sign a little bit, we haven't really talked to him too much, but we need to figure out what we want to do, is Penny going to start, you know, kind of feeling Rasul, is she going to get a little phone call, what's going to happen, they need to hang out too, so let me know how you guys feel about this episode, I know it was a little crazy, it was a little all over the place, parties usually are, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, and subscribe, go ahead and check out my Tumblr for behind the scenes, once again that's gondesins.tumblr.com, and I'll see y'all on the next video, Bye bye